There's a temptation to assume that with everything computers are doing in so many parts of our lives and commerce and so on, that we can just automate this, that can't we just make the computers in health systems tell the doctors what to do or remind them what to do and fix the problems that we have in healthcare that way. And I'd suggest that electronic health systems can be part of the solution and can help, but we know that they can't quite meet that need in a couple of ways. One issue is that most doctors and other clinicians already feel that the computers interrupt their work and their thinking too much as it is. So making a plan that we're going to interrupt the interactions with the patients even more will be very unpopular with frontline clinicians. The other piece is that electronic reminders are great for a very simple task that you mostly intend to do but might forget. If there's complex information that you need to take in about managing a patient with diabetes who also has a couple of other comorbidities and you also want to incorporate the patient's age and maybe their personal preferences and background into the decision, that's more complex than what you can fit into a pop-up alert. And that's where academic detailing comes in to help clinicians learn that more complex information. If something is simple enough that popping up a box and checking it will solve the problem, then first of all, hopefully we've already solved the problem. And second of all, you probably don't need academic detailing for that. Academic detailing is when clinicians need to learn new information, understand the context in which to apply it, and be ready to do that. Then you can have an electronic reminder to remind them to do it, but that learning takes the additional touch.